So today's question, we're going to be looking at what does property look like in, in kind of 10 years time? I appreciate that's a, a fair vision into the kind of the future, Marshall. But what do you think? How do you think property transactions are going to happen? What do you think the property market, even from a homeowner perspective, I guess, um, is probably going to look like as we go forward? Well, uh, very hard to see 10 years in the future, um, given the changes we've seen over the last 10 years. Um, 10 years ago, we didn't have iPhones, we didn't have uh, um, Wi-Fi in every coffee shop, uh, very big changes. But I think one thing uh, we can look back at is, is the um, long-term um, protect, wealth protection nature of property investment. So if you look back 20 years uh, and chart an investment in property versus other um, classes uh, of investments, yeah. property's actually done, done very well and it's been um, very stable, yeah. uh, you know, with a couple of shocks, but in general it's always recovered over a long-term period and been less volatile than, than other types of investments. Yeah. So I think looking forward 10 years that property will continue to be a solid area yeah. to invest and, and give generally good returns and also inflation protective returns because much of the value in property is to do with the rents yeah. and rents are to do with salaries and salaries to do with inflation. So uh, that all makes sense. From a, 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 an aspect of how do you invest in property or how do you transact property, uh, you would expect me to say this, but I think um, crowdfunded investment will become yeah. a very standard and, and logical way for people sure. to, to invest in property. Regarding actually buying property to live in, uh, I think there will be some advances in the conveyancing process. Yeah. It's, it's very... It seems an obvious industry to improve in terms of efficiencies and speed and all it, that sort of it thing. does uh, one of my previous roles was was in the the property data industry yeah. and uh, you know a lot of exposure to, to the actual process of conveyancing and and gathering the information to make the right decisions I think that process which now takes several months and involves chains of properties yeah. and mortgages and everything that will become a lot easier a lot slicker yeah. and a lot of it will happen online through apps and, and um, in a way that makes it more customer friendly. Um, you know, people talk about uh, how blockchain might work in property and, and, and um, uh, you know, the ownership of property w yeah. will be present on the blockchain as opposed to in, uh, in the land registry. Sure. For my part, I see that um, the issue is not really about understanding who owns each piece of property, that's quite well sorted. Yeah. The issue is understanding the risk of acquiring a piece of land and, yeah. and or a piece of property and, and what due diligence needs to be done yeah. to make sure that you don't spend money on something that isn't worth what you think it's worth. Yeah. So it's not easy to see how how that process can can be done um, uh, you know, without, without physically being on the ground. The work. Having the team and the expertise. Yeah, the work behind it, but I, but I think the if you chart a conveyancing process from from the outset right through to the end and, and all the flows of information back and forth between the lawyers and mortgage companies yeah. and data companies and buyers and sellers, that part of it will become a lot slicker yeah. and will, will all happen online. I've Do you think we'll see the days of transactions happening within weeks or days rather than kind of months, as you said? It kind well, of I, at the I, moment. That'll I, be a nice to have. So. I think I... I think it's definitely possible. And, yeah. and, and, and in certain cases today, you have companies that acquire properties in, in days. Sure. Um, if they're comfortable about the risks they're taking, then that's okay. But yeah. for an individual buyer, when it's you know, a significant part of your yeah. wealth, you know, you generally want to make sure you're getting right. what you pay for. So um, buyer you, beware. Yeah, interesting times ahead. Thank you very much.